he will uh, move forward and try to uh, finish him with one two punches you know Charles will try pretty much to what he did with you him on the distance and he will try to move so that's pretty much um that's pretty much what Canelo's problem is with Bivol, is he just tried to throw one or two shots, and that's what he believes he's going to do against Charlo, which kind of makes sense, because that's all Canelo's been doing lately. He uh, gets guys out of there with, he hurts them, and he pretty much, once he hurts them, he finishes them, but he puts just a lot of power into one or two shots, and uh, that backfired against Bivol, obviously. But yeah, I see him doing the same thing against Charlo, like Bivol said. But as you see here, guys, on Twitter, Bivol took to Twitter and said that it's going to be an interesting fight. I think Canelo should win, but I will be happy if Charlo wins. I'm interested for unification at 168. Bivol's a beast. No one's beating Bivol. Don't matter who he fights, he's going to win. Bivol has everything going for him. And do you know how we usually have fighters like, oh... He's a little old, or, oh, he just had a surgery, or, oh, he's been inactive. Which, I guess you could say Bivol's been a bit inactive. You could throw that one out there. But all the other ones that I just mentioned, and, uh, or, oh, he has problems. He, outside, with his whatever family life, or... There's always something, right? Um, with a fighter, right? And, um... With Bivol, everything is just great. Like, he's in his prime. He's hungry. He's got the skills. No injuries. Um, in the gym all the time. Eats clean. Um, like I said, he's not old. So, no one's beating Bivol. And it doesn't matter who wins this fight. He thinks Canelo will win. Um, but he's ready to fight at 168. And I would like to see if Canelo wants to take that rematch if he wins the Charlo. Because... That's just a tough matchup for anybody, especially Canelo, a smaller guy that is had just slow feet. So, um, if Canelo, I said it before the first fight when Canelo fought Bivol. I said if Canelo beats Bivol, he is he's one of the best fighters ever. I said because I just didn't see it happening. I just didn't see it happening. Um, I knew what Bivol brought to the table, and that's why I said that statement. If Canelo could move up this far and beat Bivol, I think it would be he would have to consider him one of the best fighters ever. And but he didn't do it; he got outclassed. And uh, yeah, guys. Um, so let me know what your th your thoughts on Bivol. Um, what he thinks uh, about uh, what Canelo's strategy is going to be? Strategy is going to be in the Charlo fight, just throwing one or two shots um, and try to just knock out Charlo. Um, and, uh, who do you got in the 168 unification bout between either Charlo and Bivol or Canelo and Bivol? Who, who do you have winning that? Like I said, not even better Bivol's going to beat Bivol. That means nobody's going to beat him. I guess you could throw David Benavidez in there, but I think he would outclass David Benavidez, to be honest. Um, a couple other names that are coming up too, but better Bivol would probably be his toughest test, I guess, but... Yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. This is Triple J Boxing.